Self-defense is becoming more and more relevant in a public setting. And if you ever find yourself in an active shooter situation, having a good piece of body armor or something to defend yourself could be vital. I've recently done some tests on the AR500armor.com's uh, AR500 steel plates, but they're very heavy and really meant for a plate carrier. But AR500 now is offering this soft body armor, which is a 3A type plate and it weighs one pound. This is phenomenal stuff. And I'm gonna show you some of the things and the features about this plate, but we've also tested them with different handgun calibers. Type 3A is for handgun calibers only, up to about 44 Magnum. Anything above that, you're gonna to need to go more just to the standard Type 3, which are gonna defeat most of your uh, rifle calibers. This will not defeat rifle, but in a public situation, handgun, to me, is really what you need to be concerned about. This is their 11 by 14 soft body armor. It's a perfect size for backpacks, for computer cases, but they also have a 9.5 by 13, which is perfect for smaller bags. And so you have two different sizes to choose from. Most of your Kevlar is pretty heavy. Now, if you've ever picked up a soft armor vest, they're pretty weighty. Not near as weighty as armored plates or even ceramic plates but they do weigh you down. This is so light, you hardly know you have it with you. And what's really cool about these plates is they have multi-hit capabilities. We put 15 rounds into one of these panels without any penetration. Now this AR500 panel utilizes nanotube technology. And there are many sheets of these nanotube fibers that comprise a barrier all the way back. The nanotube sheets are right here behind this surface here and you can just, it feels really kind of smooth but you can feel some little ripples and those ripples are what are gonna protect you once this thing has been impacted. The layer right here is actually a foam and it's a non-Newtonian foam. And what that means is a type of foam that when it receives an impact, it actually hardens and it spreads out any impact pressures. So this keeps from being uh, just pinpointed and receiving all the blow into one area. This is a ripstop nylon covering that goes on the outside and holds on to the nanotube fibers and also to the non-Newtonian foam. And you'll get a better look at that after we do the test. It's a standalone panel that will defeat 22 380 9 mm 40 Smith & Wesson 45 ACP 10 mm 357 Magnum and 357 Sig and 44 Magnum but again this does not defeat rifle calibers for that you're going to need to have either ceramic plates or AR500 armor now HPR was gracious enough to send the test ammo and we're doing 5 rounds of 9 mm 124 grain jacketed hollow points we're doing a 200 grain 10 mm jacketed hollow point and a 230 grain 45 ACP jacketed hollow point. All 15 of these rounds will go into one panel. We're using a Smith & Wesson MMP in 9mm, a CZ-97 in 45 ACP, and a Rock Island Armory 1911 in 10mm. First we're going to try the HPR 124 grain jacketed hollow points, 9mm. All right, we're gonna beef it up a little bit after that. Okay. Let's see if we can look behind it and see what we've got. No penetration. Uh, just a little bit of tear in the nylon. A little bit of bumpage right here. All right. So next we've got the CZ-97B and 45 ACP, and we're gonna shoot the same plate, five rounds with a HPR 230 grain full metal jacket. Just we got it reinforced again, two rounds of the 45 right here. Five rounds of 45, it's bulged. There again, no penetration, tearing the nylon a little bit, but it's holding well. It does have some dents here. One thing that we noticed is that it's not, it doesn't really move the barrel. 
This is just unsupported sitting on this barrel. And so with 45, we're a little bit uh, surprised at that. Next, we're gonna be shooting this Rock Island Armory 10 millimeter, and we're using HPR 200 grain, 10 millimeter jacketed hollow point. Christmas time. Look up in a good boy, Santa Claus came. All right. All right, 10 millimeter. It's starting to bulge out here. It still captured the round. Um, and we're gonna pull this apart. It did break into the barrel, but I think that has to do with this. And we're gonna count the rounds out so we'll know that all the rounds are contained. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cut it open. We have our foam backing, the non-Newtonian foam. This is the layer that's going to be against the body. There's two layers. Okay, okay no penetration. You, you can see how see. many layers we get through before we get to the... Yeah, let's just... Good idea. Okay. One. Two, three, four. Yeah, it's just the five. All right. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get closer. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and now we can see the projectile. Okay, here it is. Okay, here's the first round that was actually kind of penetrated out and it's lodged right there. And then we have another round right behind it. Those are pretty close together, so that's gonna probably have a lot to do with that deformation. Okay, here's another round, that's nine millimeter, looks like. There's one. One right here. All right, here's, now this is pretty interesting. This is the front of the panel right here. And everything was actually stopped except for these four in the first part of this, um, this the sheet. first, uh, the first three layers, the first three layers stopped all of it except those two rounds. Okay, here you can see how these things. Look at that expansion on that. It's incredible. Just disintegrated a lot of this. Oh, that's incredible. Okay, and then all right. Another wildly expanded round. Another one here. Another one there. You have to be really careful with these. The bullet jackets are very sharp. You know, end up looking like Phil if you're not careful. <laughs> Yeah, wow. A couple more 
And these were these never even penetrated the first panel. Yeah, this is the this is the front, just the fabric covering where we shot, and most of it is embedded right at the front. First three layers. Yeah, all 15 are accounted for right here. That's pretty impressive. Now, a couple of notes we want to make afterwards, uh, after the testing period. Uh, this is the last panel that was right behind the foam. And as you can see, it's still indented somewhat, even after we've pulled all this apart. You're going to notice that there was a large uh, push out, almost like in the old cartoons, how a knot forms on someone's head. And what this is going to do against the body is it's going to hurt like the devil. I mean, it's going to really be painful. Uh, but if you'll notice, even on the barrel, it did dent the barrel. And in some places, it even penetrated the barrel. And that has to do with this just pushing forward. And then I guess it kind of retrieved back in somewhat. Um, in the body, you're going to have some entrance, uh, but you're not going to have any penetration. And so that's really the key to, to the demonstration. I know when AR-500 did their demonstration, they were using ballistic gelatin. And in that, that you could see that there was no penetration. I'm sure there was some injury to the body, though, regardless. But here's the trade-off. Either you have a panel like this that's super lightweight that can take rounds and keep from penetration, or you have nothing, and then you end up being penetrated with the rounds. So there is going to be some pain anytime you're shot in this situation. You can ask any police officer. Uh, I have a friend of mine that was shot in the back, bruised his lung, but he lived. And there was no penetration because of the plates that he was wearing. And also I want to mention some of the wildly diverse uh, expansions. And then some of these rounds didn't expand at all. And I think that has to do with the properties of the panel itself. Uh, some of them that came in in a certain way, I guess behind others, ended up expanding greatly. And it was in between the 10, the 9mm, and the 45. Uh, it did seem like the 45, I think this one's a 10 here. Uh, but some of the 45s expanded wildly. Uh, most of the 9mm did not. And I think, again, that had everything to do with the properties of these panels. Now, we actually tested two panels, and I didn't show that in the video, but we, the first panel we tested was actually toward the back, and we shot 15 rounds with the label showing, and at the end of the video, you'll see I have a couple of shots of that. No penetrations whatsoever, even shooting it in the reverse order, but you want to make sure that you keep the label facing you and the blank side facing out. Now, this is the 11 by 14. It runs $130. Uh, for the 9.5 by 13, it weighs $65. So really very reasonable, especially if you've looked at body armor lately. This is a great way to be able to protect yourself and to buy a couple extra panels to give to those you love. Now on my scale, this panel weighs 1 pound, 1 ounce. Very lightweight. Also, very flexible. I mean, it just bends to any configuration. And because of that, you can pack this in different ways. It's not rigid. It's not going to be uncomfortable to have. Now, the beauty of this panel is you can place it into any kind of pack that you have. And even if the dimensions are a little bit off, it still closes up. It'll still bend and fold around whatever you have. Here's my computer bag. I can keep the panel in there. And if I need to, this will make a shield to be able to use as cover until I can draw my weapon or at least get away from the area. Even with a backpack, I can set this down in here, give myself protection, and again, if I need to, I can remove the backpack and get it in front of me, or even from behind, it gives me some protection. Of course, the sky's the limit. There's a multitude of different packs and bags that these will go in. It's easy, it's lightweight, and really for a pound, I think that the protection is well worth the extra weight. And because of the size, the weight, and the properties of these panels, you can be protected anywhere. And I want to thank AR500Armor.com, first off, for sending these plates for our testing. And also, after we made a mistake on one of the plates, sending a third plate to be able to test and demonstrate. So, I'll tell you what, these are fantastic plates, and I think that you're going to find that this could save your life. 
So get in touch with the guys at AR500Armor.com. Between these soft armor panels and their full steel ballistic plates, there are a lot of options to be able to protect you and your family in case you get into a really tough situation. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. <laughs> Tape didn't hold on that one, but the panel did. Right there is the round. So we're going to go ahead and shoot four more and tape it down better. <laughs> hold it this time, Don. <laughs> mm, that's something pretty good. Might have to retake that one, Don. <laughs>